Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Japan is an important and important ally of the United States. In the chip war launched by the United States, Japan is also actively cooperating with the United States and has reached an agreement with the United States to implement 23 items of semiconductor equipment export controls on Chinese semiconductors. Japan says that it does not target any country, but in fact it knows better than anyone what the purpose of its actions is. Japan seems to be more ruthless than Biden, and the scope of restrictions covers most of the chip industry chain. Some foreign media said, Chinese lithography machines will become scrap iron. Most of the chip restricting rules in the United States are aimed at high-end technologies. For example, ASML is not allowed to ship EUV lithography machines to manufacturers in mainland China, and NVIDIA is not allowed to provide two high-end GPUs, A100 and H100, to Chinese customers. In addition, EDA industrial software for 3 nanometers chip design is also subject to US export control. As long as it involves high-end semiconductor technology below 14 nanometers, it is almost always the target of US restrictions. However, mature technology can still be shipped. The United States has granted export licenses to Qualcomm, Intel and other US companies, allowing them to continue to cooperate with Chinese customers within the scope of mature technology. ASML's low-end lithography machines can also be shipped to China. It can be seen that the United States just wants to limit the development of China's high-end chip technology and does not want to lose the Chinese market. It still has to make money. After all, China is the world's largest semiconductor market. Gotta drink the northwest wind. Unexpectedly, Japan is more ruthless than Biden, and the scope of restrictions has already involved the low end. Japan announced sanctions against China, including 23 items of semiconductor equipment on the export control list and plans to implement the rules from July 23rd. Japan's export control is even stronger than that of the United States. The United States just does not allow high-end technology to be provided to China, while Japan also includes mature technology in the scope of restrictions. The China Semiconductor Industry Association has said that the scope of control in Japan is too broad for exceeding the internationally accepted list of controlled items, which has caused great trouble to related companies. Although Japan has not officially implemented the rules, it is foreseeable that the companies involved will not have a good time. Not only domestic manufacturers, but also Japanese companies. Dozens of Japanese semiconductor companies will lose the support of the consumer market due to their inability to ship normally. For example, Japanese companies such as Nikon, Tokyo Electronics, and Advantist require export licenses to trade with Chinese customers. The United States knows to keep a hand for itself. Why is Japan so self-defeating? Perhaps there are two possibilities. One is to use export control as a vote to close the cooperative relationship with the United States. Today, Japan and the United States have many semiconductor cooperation projects involving 2 nanometers technology research and development. Many American companies are also actively investing in Japan. As long as Japan has a good relationship with the United States, 
there is great hope for Japan to revive semiconductors in the future. At least it will not be suppressed by the United States again, letting the United States know that it is its loyal ally. Another possibility is that Japan is unaware of the seriousness of the problem and has listed 23 items of semiconductor equipment under export control. It does not think it will cause too much impact, so Japan cooperates with the U.S.'s restrictive actions to avoid being troubled by the U.S. Relatively speaking, the first possibility is more likely. Japan wants to narrow its relationship with the United States. Currently, Japan is supporting chip manufacturers and needs the help of the United States at a critical moment. Once Japan's semiconductors rise, it is difficult to guarantee that the United States will not make another move. Therefore, Japan continues to show its loyalty to the United States, and it has established its position as a follower. After its own strength is strong, it can also bring benefits to the United States. No matter why Japan did this, since it has been decided, it is difficult to change. Japan has made it clear that the rules will be implemented on July 23rd. Some foreign media said, Chinese lithography machines will become scrap iron. In the eyes of foreign media, China has lost the supply of important parts and components to Japan, and it is of little use to rely on China's mass production of 90 nanometers lithography machines. After all, manufacturing chips requires the support of a large number of semiconductor equipment, and lithography machines only account for about 20% of the cost of the entire chip manufacturing process. The United States, Japan, and the Netherlands are big countries in semiconductor manufacturing equipment. After these three countries join forces, there will be enough to affect the global semiconductor industry chain structure. Applied materials in the United States, Calais and Fanlin Group have great advantages in engraving and cleaning equipment and thin film deposition equipment and their market shares are highly concentrated. Japan's Nikon, Tokyo Electronics, and other Japanese companies occupy major market shares in dicing equipment and testing equipment. ASML in the Netherlands monopolizes the high-end lithography machine market and is the only manufacturer that can manufacture EUV lithography machines. The United States, Japan and the Netherlands have reached an agreement that China cannot rely on others. In the face of various tests and challenges, China's semiconductors need to adhere to the self-research route and understand that core technologies cannot be bought or exchanged. China also has its own semiconductor industry chain and has made some breakthroughs in the mature process field. Cleaning machines, ion implanters, etc. have achieved 28 nanometers process progress and even made 5 nanometers etching machines. It is believed that with the efforts of domestic manufacturers, the localization process can continue to be promoted. If you agree with the point of view of this video, Please like it, welcome to forward, leave a message and share.